Perform a system controller self-test every day to make sure the controller is working properly. It takes less than a minute to perform the test. To run the self-test, press and hold the battery button for 5 seconds. The screen first briefly turns white, then black, and then self-test appears and remains on the screen. Release the battery button and check that all symbols and indicators on the front of the controller illuminate at the same time and that the controller is making a loud, steady audio alarm tone. All the lights, symbols, and sounds should remain on for a total of 15 seconds. The screen then turns off, and other than the green pump running symbol, all the lights, symbols, and sounds turn off or stop, indicating that the self-test is complete and successful. If any of the lights remain off, or if the sounds do not work, or they produce sounds other than a steady tone, there is a problem with the system controller. You should call your VAD coordinator or hospital contact person immediately and be prepared to replace your controller if instructed to do so. Please note that if an alarm occurs during the self-test, the self-test stops so the alarm can be displayed. It's important to check every day that the driveline safety lock is properly locked, covering the red release button. Also check that the driveline modular cable connection is securely connected. You should not be able to see the yellow indicator if it is connected securely. Due to frequent handling of the batteries, a film may develop on the contacts that could prevent them from properly charging or working properly unless regularly cleaned. Clean the battery contacts and battery clip terminals once a week with an alcohol moistened swab or lint-free cloth. Allow the terminals to dry before placing the batteries in the battery clips or battery charger charging slots. Also, clean the outside surfaces of the batteries periodically or as needed with a clean, dry cloth. Never use liquids on batteries. Once a week, inspect the batteries for any physical damage. Do not use damaged batteries. They should be replaced. Inspect the mobile power unit power cord mobile power unit patient cable, and battery charger power cord at least once a week to make sure they are not kinked, split, cut, cracked, or frayed. Do not use a cord or cable if it shows signs of damage. Obtain a replacement from your VAD coordinator or hospital contact person if needed. Each week, with a battery charger unplugged, clean the metal contacts inside the pockets with a swab or lint-free cloth lightly moistened with rubbing alcohol. Allow the alcohol to dry before inserting batteries.